Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Bhaskar Day. I am an eye specialist. With a wide range of information regarding our eyes, this is my video series, Our Eyes. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, click on thumbs up button and press bell icon so as to receive messages for new uploads. The subject for this video is amblyopia, causes and treatment. Amblyopia is an eye condition in which there is partial loss of vision without any visible defect of retina. Whenever there is some amount of loss of vision of eyes, there is definitely some organic cause or the retina or the screen on the back side of the eye may show some changes that are visible with the help of an ophthalmoscope. But in amblyopia, there is no such defect seen. Retina may look normal when seen with an ophthalmoscope. It's also called lazy eyes at times. If we analyze the characteristics of amblyopia, we will see that it's mostly found in children and early young age. It occurs in one eye, rarely occurs in both eyes. There is no redness of eye. There can be big difference of spectacle powers of eyes and there can be high spectacle power in both eyes. Since birth or early childhood, there can be cataract or opacity of lens inside the eye, haziness or partial opacity of cornea, ptosis or drooping of eyelid partially covering eye. There may be squint or deviation of one eye. There may be family history of amblyopia, meaning parents or near family members may have the same eye condition. There are mainly four types of amblyopia. Number one, strabismic amblyopia or amblyopia because of squint. Two, anisometropic amblyopia due to big difference of spectacle powers. Three, ametropic amblyopia or high spectacle power in both eyes. And stimulation deprivation amblyopia due to obstruction to light path of eyes. Strabismic amblyopia, it occurs because of squint in one eye. This squinting eye has less vision. For example, in the middle picture, there is no squint, so no amblyopia. In left picture, the right eye is straight, but the left eye has squint, so left eye has amblyopia. In the right picture, the left eye is straight, but the right eye has squint, so the right eye has amblyopia. It's because the better eye or the non-squinting eye is usually used for seeing and squinting eye vision is suppressed to avoid diplopia or double vision. Anisometropic amblyopia. It occurs because the difference between spectacle powers of eyes is very high. Because of this difference, two different sized images are formed, one on each retina. The brain cannot fuse two different sized images and there is chance of diplopia or double vision. To avoid it, one eye image is suppressed. Usually, the image of the eye having more power is suppressed. So, there is amblyopia in that eye. For example, right eye power is plus one but left eye power is plus 6 or right eye power is minus 7 and in left eye it's 0 or no power. It has been seen that a difference of 2.5 diopter may cause amblyopia. Ametropic amblyopia. It's because there is a high spectacle power in both eyes. It occurs most commonly in hypermetropia or plus lens. For example, in right plus 8 and in left eye plus 9. It may occur in both eyes. Hence, it is necessary to wear spectacles even if there is spectacle power in small children. Stimulation deprivation amblyopia. It's because of obstruction to light rays that cannot enter eye properly. For example, congenital cataract or lens opacity since birth corneal opacity due to any cause, ptosis or drooping of eyelid obstructing vision, 
any obstruction since birth or early childhood can cause amblyopia. Here are some more information on amblyopia. In eye, development of macula, which is a more sensitive area, continues till 6 years of age. During this developmental phase, any obstruction to vision, any lack of coordination between two eyes may initiate or cause amblyopia. Sometimes children cannot know that there is less vision in one eye. As a result, amblyopia is not detected on time. When detected, it's already late for proper treatment and bringing about vision. That's why routine eye checkup is necessary for children who have learned alphabets and will be able to read vision test charts. Treatment Best results of treatment are seen if amblyopia is detected early and treatment is started within 6 years of age. Result is not so good if treatment is started between 6 and 10 years. One should not expect good result if treatment is started after 10 years. Treatment of cataract, corneal opacity, etc. if any are to be done first. Proper refraction and regular use of glasses if required are to be done. Occlusion therapy. Occlusion or partial patching of the good eye and allowing to use the amblyopic eye. This is known as conventional occlusion. In the picture, the child has amblyopia in right eye. Hence, spectacle occlusion has to be done in left eye or the better eye. This is to be continued for three days in a row. Then occlusion has to be done in the amblyopic eye for one day. The good eye will be open now. Like that in 3 is to 1 ratio till vision of amblyopic eye returns to normal. Penalization. Sometimes it may be difficult for the child to continue occlusion. In such cases, penalization is done. The idea is to make vision of good eye less or blurred with atropine as an alternative to occlusion. Pleoptic exercises are to be done in squint clinic to establish foveal fixation when necessary. Squint correction or operation to correct squint by squint surgeon and subsequent therapy for amblyopia is to be done when required. For this, it is necessary to consult squint specialist in eye hospital. Computerized vision therapy may be done as a supplementary treatment. In the end, a request to all parents. Please do not ignore your child's eyes. When your child has learned alphabets of mother tongue and English, please take the child to an ophthalmologist for routine eye checkup, even if there is no visual complaints. This way, amblyopia, if any, will be diagnosed early and proper therapy will be initiated. Results will be good. Please encourage your child to wear glasses all the time when it is necessary. And my best wishes to all the amblyopic children for proper amblyopia treatments and speedy recovery. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, Please subscribe to my channel, click thumbs up and press bell icon. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to ask. Thanks again.